Hello, good evening, people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Vic Slain Hope. And today, I want to talk about hopelessness. And, you know, hopelessness may look very different in different communities, but in my community, um, you know, like we live like in a bubble surrounded by like violence, joblessness, poor education, poor housing, you know, and people that just being reproducing like these cycles of like violence and like despair and all these different things. So hopelessness looks kind of like very crazy in our neighborhood. And sometimes people say like, people just don't want to be better or people just don't want to get ahead. Or like, like if you really sit there and think about that, just think about that quote, like, do we really think that people just don't want to be better? Like people just be like, you know what? I just don't want to be shit like I just I just I just don't want to have money I just don't want to have food to eat I just don't want to be financially stable I just don't want to be good like you know it sounds kind of stupid like like who doesn't want to be good who doesn't want to be like in a better position but I think um what we fail to realize is that there's many different factors that kind of like cause people to feel like they don't have no hope like you know, when, when people that progress and make it leave your neighborhood and you don't get to see them again, you know, um, that's hope leaving. You know, um, that's when you don't have nobody that can teach you better or that can tell you better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have no choice. When, when, when you don't know that there's a bigger world out there besides a the little bubble that you live in, when people die in your neighborhood constantly, when people go to jail, you know, it becomes normalized. Like, like this is people lose hope um this is like little things that people see day-to-day -day basis their parents struggling their neighbors struggling um, people trying to like make make it by people struggling to pay rent people struggling to eat food um people on government assistance um trying to figure out a way to get out um i just think like yeah we we need to just have an open mind to it like that we don't know exactly what people are going through. We don't know exactly if they tried. We don't know. We really don't know people's stories. Um, I just think we need to talk to people more. But yeah, it's tough. Um, when people, when you see great men die, that that are trying to do better, it just it just kills your hope. It just kills your hope if you're a young like I'm a young black man. When other young black men die, that might have been in the gang life like me. Um, and I'm trying to do positive things and I'm trying to change and trying to help their community and they die or they get killed because they were trying to do the right thing or people people can't or so other people have traumas that they're going through and their traumas lead them to do some foul shit like I understand what's going on in my community and that's why I'm trying to like change it and that's why I'm trying to like help but like I'm just one person like um I need my people, my brothers, my sisters, like, I need us, um, but yeah, hopelessness is real, man, and, like, until you have, like, real conversations with those folks, you're not gonna know what they're going through, what they're feeling, and what their life experience is, um, I just wanted to, you know, just share that, I know it's a short, brief video, um, but comment, tell me tips, different things that, you know, different ideas, um, let's, let's, let's get this rolling.